treatment of many types of skin lesions. Today, we will demonstrate a variety of cryosurgical techniques using liquid nitrogen as a spray and with cryo tweezers. While some conditions will respond to a single treatment, it is not unusual for warts to require more than one treatment session. Cryosurgery with liquid nitrogen is performed on the common warts found on this girl's finger. A bent tip extension spray is being used to attenuate the flow of liquid nitrogen and make it less painful for the patient, especially around the nail fold. The warts are frozen to the edge, including a small halo of normal skin. Each wart is frozen twice to get optimal results. On the second application, the liquid nitrogen spray is pulsed to demonstrate how a pulsatile spray method allows for good control of the delivery of the liquid nitrogen. Cryosurgery is being performed with a cryac tracker cam to treat a large seborrheic keratosis on the forehead. As the skin temperature drops below zero degrees centigrade, the sensor light turns green. This SK is treated using a spray paint method, taking special care to fully freeze the periphery of the lesion. Cryosurgery is being used to treat an actinic keratosis on the face with a bent tip extension spray. 10 seconds is usually an adequate freeze for thin actinic keratoses. A cryo-tweezer is applied to a skin tag on the neck until it turns white to the base of the pedunculated stalk. A second skin tag is treated in the same manner. Note that the cryo-tweezer is held with cotton gauze to avoid freezing the hand of the physician. As demonstrated, cryosurgery is an excellent method for treating benign and pre-malignant conditions of the skin. Liquid nitrogen is the preferred cryogen and can be applied